Hey guys, what's up? I'm back today and um, I am going to start off this video by doing a little bit of like a cooking thing. It's just like a recipe that I really like. Recipe, whatever, it's nothing. It's like two ingredients. But you guys ask me a lot like what I eat and um, I like to eat things that are as, don't start with me, low calorie as possible. Um, but obviously like, are satisfying. Um, I love, um, I like a lot of flavor, but I also like a lot of things that remind me of things that I could eat or that I not could, that I ate in the past, like fattening things. So I try my best to literally come up with shit that just works for me. So I know all the Greeks out there, I'm Greek too, so you can't say shit. You're gonna be like, Alex, stop. That is not, no, just not that. And I'm gonna say, I'm going to say it wrong, I know. Um, it's not, but it's the vibe. It's it, it it's reminiscent. It's a taste. It's so guilt-free. Shut up, okay? Like, if, just shut up, all right? Because this is how I've lost the weight, and I'm not, I don't, I don't feel like that's a struggle. You know what I mean? Okay, so basically, I love eggplant. I love eggplant for a lot of reasons. It reminds me of nirozo salata, which is a Greek dish. It also reminds me of a really amazing dish I love too, like this dish I used to have in Shanghai, um, tietze, okay. Um, and so yeah, I make this in a really weird way. And I feel like for me, weight loss or like the recipes I do are always, there's always a lot of thought behind them. Like, like it's, everything's a moment now. Like last night, for example, I had like a, I had like a salad, chicken salad to go from this place. I really like it. And after I was stuffed, man, I was fucking stuffed. But then I like, I was so stuffed that like, I hate that feeling. I used to do it to me myself when I was like overweight. I used to eat and then eat again and then eat dessert and then like eat again, like snacks. You know what I mean? Like not meals, but snacks. It's just like disgusting. And I used to be so full, but like, I didn't understand. Like and my brain was registering that I was, wasn't hungry. I was just eating to eat. So now, like last night, I was gonna like get dessert and I was like, stop! I was like, oh my God, stop. Um, what was I getting at? Man, I totally forgot. <laughs> I totally forgot. Okay, that's the thing. I'm like, I'm so like brain dead lately. I'm just like, it's like a mix of like, like mild depression. <laughs> no, I'm not kidding. Actually, I'm not. But it's just like, I don't know. I, I feel like my brain is like fried. Um, there's a lot of shit going on in the world. You guys know that. I don't, don't feel well about shit going on. We'll talk about a little bit about that. Like, whatever. You guys know these vlogs, these videos are just like whatever I feel like. I don't have topics. Okay, stop. Stop. What was I going to say? I really wanted to finish that point. I forgot. Okay, so this is an entire eggplant. I cut up an entire eggplant with the skin on it, with everything. And if I stand up, like, my boobs are going to show, and I, I don't care. I'm not wearing a bra, and you can't see the eggplant. So, I feel like I have to just like lean down. I'm, I don't know. I actually don't like the shirt. I spotted it at Zara. Tags are still on it because I'm unsure about it. I think I might return it. I don't know. I thought it'd be cute with jean shorts, but I kind of feel like it's old Alex. Like old fat Alex would wear it. We don't wear those clothes anymore. We get away from that. We are new. Okay. So anyway, um, I want to show you how I cut the eggplant because if you want the mo if you want to do it like I do it, I was going to show you everything. Everything even though, even the way you cut it matters to me. Okay. Do you see these long? Let me find the longest one. Long and thin, like diamond shapes. The longer, longer and thinner you could get them is like a vibe for me. <laughs> it really has to be a fucking vibe check the eggplant. Okay, vibe check the eggplant, bitch. <laughs> I swear to God. Okay, um, no, it matters. So this, let me tell you why. So the vibe, vibe checking the eggplant for the way it's cut is because it reminds me of the dish in Shanghai. When in the, the dish in Shanghai, they cut it very, they cut the eggplant long, like in diamond shapes, I've noticed. Or no, they cut them really long like that. Um, but they're just long. And I like a diamond shape. It's very like, it cooks well and it's a vibe, okay? It's just, I really like it. So when I cut it, I'm just gonna cut this, like here's the other half of the eggplant, everything on it. And I'm gonna crouch because I don't know what you can see I look like. I'm gonna like, literally gonna cut my finger off. Okay, let me just cut it. And this is like not as good. I, I have no kitchen space. You guys should take half my fucking counter. Oh my God, she touched her face. Bitch, okay, I'm not gonna even do this right now with you. I'm really not gonna do this. I am cooking for my damn fucking self, okay? I don't own a restaurant. I can touch my face and I can touch the food. It's my fucking food, dumbass. Get it out of the way, okay? Get out of the fucking way. That irritates me so much. Am I cooking for anyone other than myself? And if I was cooking for my family, it's getting cooked anyway because 
and then the heat is going to kill the germs. Shut up. Stupid. Okay, I'm just going to cut them in long slices like this and pretty thin. Let me just show you. Okay, so like this. Okay, so I'll cut like this. And then I'm going to go in like a diag diagonal. I don't know. Like really cut it like against the... Ugh, it's harder to cut. Okay, I can't even show you. Let me just fucking cut the eggplant, okay? Bitch, cut the eggplant. Oh my God, why can't you just cut the eggplant? I hate myself. Everyone's like, Alex, I know how to fucking cut the eggplant. God, it's so weird. Like, why is everything gonna be something? I'm already exhausted. Like everything already, everything has to be something, I swear. Like, I'm sorry. Like, if, it, if the eggplant was cut, this is the truth. To be honest, if the eggplant was cut shitty, like it would not, it's just not right. It's not right. Like it's just weird. Okay, let me just finish cutting this. It's gross. Like it would be like bringing out like a fruit platter and the fruit is like cut weird. Like no, it has to be cut just so like, like have some pride in what you do. Can't stand it. Okay, hold on. Finish this. So will someone look up the calories of a whole eggplant for me? It's like nothing. Um, okay, let me show you if I can show you. Ugh, thought I could show you. Okay, you see the diamond cuts? Okay, cool. Now I'm just gonna spray my Le Creuset, whatever, I mean, with, um, I really don't like this at all. I look like, I hate the shirt. I wanna change it. I'm gonna change it. Okay, I just wanna finish this down meal. Like, I'm, I'm sick of it. Okay, so I'm just gonna get my um, cooking spray. I'm just gonna get my cooking spray. It's, sorry, don't worry, there's like, I don't even know what it is. Why is there like helicopters hovering above my house? Of course, like right when I started the video. Never heard any of that. Okay. I'm gonna spray my extra virgin olive oil cooking spray. And I know it's like, it depends on how much. And, okay, this is the truth. With, for this one, because eggplant soaks up so much oil, so many, so much um, moisture, you, it, you're you gonna be using some calories in that spray. But that's all I sprayed for that. I'm gonna dump all of the eggplant in. There's literally eggplant everywhere right now, I swear to God. Okay, so this takes a while to cook. I would say like a good 20 minutes. Uh, letting it sit in here, coming back with babying it a little bit. I'm gonna put some salt. I'm trying to think like, okay, you guys are gonna like laugh at me. I'm gonna tell you two ways to do this. Okay, I'm getting my Greek salt which you guys know I love. It's like the only salt that stays on food. Like there's some salts that I use and it's like, I put salt on this, like doesn't taste like salt. Like, I don't know what it is. Like it's the weirdest thing. Okay, so let me spray some more and I'm gonna mix it. It's a lot, I know, but it's not like drizzling olive oil. So let me just mix it in here. Let me kind of show you what it looks like. It's just like that, okay? Do just a little bit more spray. That's all I'm gonna use. That's it. Okay, count the calories. I don't even know. It's fucking little spritz of spray. Not a big deal. Okay, I'm gonna put some salt. I'm gonna let this sit in here. And let it salt. Shut the fuck up. It's not. Don't be stupid. Okay, um, stir it a little bit more. And then I'm gonna put the cover on. Okay, then we put the cover on. I'm gonna wait until it gets like soggy, like 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 soggy mushy, um, and then if the if you leave it in there for a while and the bottom gets a little bit like a little slightly burnt, it's good. It's like good flavor. But that's it. That's all I do. If you want to take it a step up and actually have it taste like milza salata a little bit more, you can use some of like um, just take like a little cube of the fat-free feta fat cheese and like eat it with that. I do that sometimes, like if I have extra feta, but I'm not gonna do that. Like I told you guys, I'm not playing around with this shit. I don't even fucking need it. Like just stop. Like, bitch, you don't, like, I'm so sorry. I'm, gonna bring up, I'm bringing up another point. Like it's so immature to overeat. Like I can't say it. it's disgusting. Like do you not have any self-control? Like why are you overeating? It is so immature. It's disgusting. Like, I, like last night when I was gonna like, gonna go, gonna go eat again when I was fucking full, I'm like, what is your problem? Like you're mental. Like there, there's something fucking wrong with her. I know it, like I get it. As, as far as the overeating thing, it's a mental thing. Like I swear I have the fat gene. Like my grandma was fat. I'm gonna take up, I take over her, like I take after her a lot like that. And she had like weight issues her whole life. So I get it, it's like a fat gene. Like some people just don't understand. Um, but it's it's like an addiction. You have to constantly remind yourself, like what are you doing? Like do you, are you hungry? You're just like eating to fucking eat and that's what I was doing. Um, but this like, no bitch, I don't need the feta cheese. Feta cheese. This 
I love this. Like, why do you need it? I don't. That's an extra like 100 calories at least, maybe like 50 to 100, depending on how honest you are with what you're cutting. Just stop. Just fucking stop. Just shut up. You don't fucking need it. Fucking fast. Stop. Like, I, I don't, it's just weird. So be honest with yourself. And like, remember, it's like so immature to overeat. Like, it really is kind of disgusting. It's kind of embarrassing. Like, would you see like a girl, like the, like a vibe as fuck, like overeating and like looking like a fucking, like, what's it called? Like gluttonous heathen? Like, ew, disgusting. No. Ew. It's not. It's not the vibe. Okay. So it's starting to stick at the bottom. Like, have some class. I'm sorry. And I don't care what anyone says. Shut up. I'm so sick of it. Ming. Ming, Ming. The squiddy cat. It's running back there. Okay. Um, I, I really honestly believe that, that to be true. Like, it's not classy. It's not cute. It's not, like, it's a weird thing. It's, like, a mental thing to be, like, overeating constantly. I understand, like, indulging once in a while. But, like, honestly, ask yourself, like, stop. Like, last night, too, I want to finish the whole salad. And I was like, stop. Why are you doing this? Like, like the thing is with me lately, you guys, I am, like, not wanting to, like, lose a, any more weight, really. A little bit. Okay? I'd like to lose a little bit. I'm not going to stress over it because I'm happy the way I look. And I'm just basically like maintaining, you know what I mean? I'm not trying to be like the fucking next Victoria's Secret model, you know what I mean? So, um, and I just want to like look good in clothes. I want to feel confident. I want to like be able to like wear cute outfits and like, like the way I look and I do. So that's all, that's all I, what's all I wanted. So now I'm not really doing 1200 calories anymore. I'm just, it's a lot like, you know, sometimes I can go to like, I can go higher if I like go out to dinner and stuff like that, but I'm still very cautious. Like I just... I'm mature about it. I'm like level headed and I'm clear. I like don't do that because it just doesn't make any sense. And it doesn't make me happy. I feel sick to my stomach. Like I just, I just don't. So anyway, my, my new chain, I'm so in love with it. It's my Glitter Lux 14K Gold Fill and I just love it just thrown over like any shirt. I was wearing my white like tank top I've been wearing lately um, from Brandy. And I just love it. It's the most gorgeous chain ever. It's like everything. It's so perfect for summer. And I do like these really weird, odd lengths that I think are like vibes. It was like when I design things, like the it might be like not like a standard length everyone would use, but believe me, this is the fucking vibe. It's like the perfect bitch length. Okay, you know what I mean? It's like best. You can wear it um like with the V-neck too. It's just like so pretty against the skin. Look at that. Amazing. I love it so much. Okay, it's brand new. Um also still doing free U.S. shipping for all orders just because I feel like it feels like you're shopping more. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want to, like, have to – every time, like, if I put, like – if because I'm putting out cute things all the time. Like, if I'm putting out something cute – oh, also another trick. When you lift the top, like, the water, the, like, the um, perspiration water, let it drip in here because it gives it more, the moisture it needs to get, like, soggy. And then all the burn stuff at the bottom – Try and scrape it off and stir every once in a while. Okay, now I'm gonna turn the heat down a little bit because it's starting to like burn. But yeah, I just feel like I'm putting out cute stuff all the time and I don't want you guys to be like, oh, I just purchased. So I'm gonna wait because the shipping, like, no, like, it's just like add it to the bag, add it to the bag, like, it's not a big deal. You know what I mean? It doesn't like, it's no skin off your back to like repurchase someone's it's just like shopping. So that's like the vibe I'm doing right now. Um,. Already out of breath. Okay. I have a lot of topics. I can't wait to show you guys this one. It's just like the best. Um, I love the way I can just do these videos with you guys and it's just whatever the fuck I want. Um, because I don't like to do topic videos. It's just like, I like to be real with you guys and like tell you guys what I'm feeling at the moment. I also got a new rug. You'll see it. <sighs> okay. I want to show you guys. I don't love it, but I'm keeping it because there's nothing else. It was like inexpensive and it is what I like. I'll tell you guys later. I want to talk to you guys about my new vibe um, outfits. It's a vibe that I did. Ugh, I don't care. This little squirrel out there is so cute. I love when they like shake their tails. Okay, um, it's this vibe that I came up with. Everyone's like, no, you didn't. Like, yes, I did actually. You know, I of course like you on Instagram and you see what other people are wearing and like you get influenced. But like, I've actually never seen anyone wear this outfit before. Now, like, four hundred people today like show me pictures of like the same outfit. Like, no, I'm sorry, no. Like, I didn't. Like, I did it. <laughs> Why can't I just have something? Okay, hold on. I'm like pouring the water from the lid. Okay, it's kind of getting too burnt. Why is it getting like so burnt? I think it needs a little bit more oil, honestly. It's getting like really burnt. And it's not good for it to be like super burnt. I'm going to try it like 
way down, but it just like gets soggy. Okay. Um, I'm gonna show you guys the vibe and it's like it, it's like a, a vibe that's continuously like like evolving because you guys know I love like the homeless vibe look like homeless chic like I've been doing that for a long time like where you just like look bummy but then you're obviously not and it's like the cutest look ever so I just kind of love this like version or this like kind of thing I'm doing I'll show it to you guys I even like ran out to Zara this morning because I wanted to go to Aritzia but it's closed the mall's closed like it's an outdoor mall it's closed I don't want to get into it. So fucking stupid. So I only have a choice to go to Zara. Um, and I hate that Zara too. It's like the worst Zara. The one in Santa Monica and the promenade. It's like so fucking stupid. There's nothing that I ever like. I don't get it. I swear it's like a Zara outlet. Like I don't understand how they don't bring in anything else other Zaras have. It's just like shit. It's so bad. I found one blazer. I'll ask you guys what you think. I think it's not worth it. Um, I think it's not the vibe. It's okay. But I don't want... To just settle for okay things because i i probably won't reach for it i'll wear it like one time and then regret it so i'll talk to you guys about that too okay let me finish this and then i will show you the food and then we will um talk okay hey so it's ready here it is um and let's have some together uh I'll, i do use chopsticks like <laughs> depending on the food um for salads like i don't really but I don't know for eggplant I always do. <coughs> Sorry. Um, um it's so weird, so good. Um for some reason, for some fucking annoying reasons, I get called racist for using chopsticks. Um I think it's so disgusting that the whole racist thing is thrown around so fr frivolously. But what actually brings me to something a little bit more, something important I was thinking about, too, is um, you guys know that. I'm going to stop eating. Go away. You guys know I lived in China for like almost two years when I was getting my master's. Um, but so I have like a, a um, my time there and the people I met there and the cult, I like the culture. And I, I just wanted to go, I just want to say this because I feel like it's going to start like when Chinese New Year comes around again and I celebrate Chinese New Year with HRH like every year because this is the thing. We need to remember that we need to, I don't know how to say this so it comes out right. I don't want to hear any bullshit from people out there about we shouldn't celebrate Chinese New Year or whatever because of what happened, because of what people, what, the whole thing that's going on, Okay. It has nothing to do with the culture. It has nothing to do with the people here. It has nothing to do with the actually certain, like, majority of the people there, okay? Um, we're not talking, we're not celebrating the government, okay? We're celebrating culture. And I, th through and through, down to my soul, think that all cultures, most, okay, I'm, I'm, the majority of cult cultures are fucking amazing, okay? I love international things. I love international people. I love, I, res like, I respect it. And of course, in every culture, in every situation, there is bad things, okay? Like not everything in the world is perfect. It's never going to be perfect. But I don't wanna hear it from you guys when Chinese New Year rolls around and I'm, I'm gonna have to sit back and think, I don't want the backlash for it. Go to hell, okay? Leave me alone. I will do whatever the fuck I want. I love Chinese culture. I love Asian culture. Okay. It doesn't, it's not about the government. Okay. It's about when I was there, the friends I met, the food I ate, the, what I experienced, I loved it. Okay. It doesn't have nothing to do. I was not oppressed because I was not like under the Chinese rule. You know what I mean? The government. I don't know what that's like. I'm telling you as an expat or whatever. And my friends I met there, I know you're so privileged. Shut up. I'm sick of it. I'm just so sick of like not being able to like to just like do what I want and always thinking about people being like, how can you do that? Like, the, I know what you guys are going to say. The, Chi the Chinese have like completely fucked up the US. Okay, I don't want to talk about that. That is not what it's about. Plus, plus, just stop. Okay, like it has nothing to do with the people, with the people. Okay, it's everything to do with the government and whatever. Okay, I don't want to get into it, but I'm just thinking to myself, saying on a chopstick, I know I'm going to get shit. Why are you doing that? Just shut up. It has nothing to do with anything. Like, I can't like. I, I will. I will do whatever the fuck I want to do, okay? It doesn't mean I'm, like, supporting the fucking communist government. You guys know how I feel about communism, okay? Just stop. Just fucking stop. 
So yes, I will be probably celebrating fucking Lunar New Year, Chinese New Year. I will, because I do it every year. And it's not about anything other than the fact that when I was there, like, I grew, like a lot of like everything that happened in my life is because I lived there for two years. And I just like had an amazing time and I just absorbed, absorbed, like living there and, and embracing their, their like culture and them and experiencing a whole different world that me coming from here would never have known. And it was amazing, okay? Could have been anywhere, but I went there and whatever. Okay, shut up. And I'm sitting here with chopstick. Me, you can't. So stupid. Shut up. And it was not all rosy. You know what I mean? Like living there was not all rosy. Like, but I, and I'm like, I actually, I don't know. I, I didn't like, you know, you know, I don't like friends, right? Like I don't like people actually. Um, so when I was there, like a whole, a whole group who went, like the group that went with my year, everyone like made friends and like had like roommates and stuff and like, just like sat together and like did all, and like I didn't, like I had no one. I lived by myself. I like only hung out with like very few people, basically myself and like Chinese teachers. Like I learned the most Chinese when I was there. I remember people like thought that I was like the dumb, stupid blonde who like wouldn't do anything, wouldn't make anything else. And actually I got the best experience because they just like hung out together and like didn't, not everyone, but a lot of them. I don't want to talk about it, stupid. I hate half of them, but whatever. Um, all right. So I'm just going to eat, but I'm going to talk about my vibe. Man, I hate that. I hate, I hate that. I hate like, sorry. Okay. I'm eating. <laughs> By the way, I wasted this entire drink today. It was absolutely fucking disgusting. I don't know, like, people just can't read because, like, I'm very clear as to what I want. There was no extra caramel in there. I'm going to tell you right now. There was no extra caramel and it tastes like piss. I'm not sure if, like, the cloud was rotten, but it was fucking disgusting. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys my rug really quick just before we... There. Okay, do you see it? Ming's on it. She loves it. Okay, okay. I just want to quickly show you the rug. Mm -hmm. there okay it's a shag rug and it's, it's not set up right don't worry i know i gotta move it back and it, it's not positioned right but okay i'm gonna bring you back so now i'll back up this way um i like look very corporate right now which i actually don't like so i wish you guys could see my vibe i'm gonna do my vibe really, really quick but i want to talk about the, that rug so i don't like 100 love it but i wanted a rug that i could like wash because i'm so sick and tired of getting like that rug in there in my room is my second rug that I purchased. And it's just, when they get dirty, you either have to like throw them away or have them professionally clean. And it just becomes like another chore that like, I'm not gonna like, re I just, I end up throwing them away. So it's like a huge waste of money like down the toilet, literally. Hold on, look at my notes. Um, so I found this like, washable shag rug and I like it, but I'm not 100% sure. And, I, and everyone's like, where'd you get it? Where'd you get it? Like, bitch, I'm not really actually telling you where you get it. And I'm gonna like also to, like, kind of like go on that too, because this is the thing. I don't mind telling people where I get things. It's the people that like I know and I talk to and like I like and it's like we're like friends, but like I don't like the demandingness of people just actually thinking like I need to tell you guys where I got everything. No, actually I fucking don't need to tell you anything. The only thing I will tell you is what I want to tell you and of course about my jewelry because that's what I do for a living. You know what I mean? Like, but no, I'm not gonna like sit here and write down that you spit. Sit down and write down like serial numbers and give you links like it's ridiculous. Like, do your own fucking homework. It's like, people cannot just, like, calm the fuck down. Also, like, I thought I was insane. Actually. Actually, no. I actually don't think I'm insane. Like, um, I don't think I'm insane. <laughs> I was going to go into something else. But I actually got, like, a DM this morning from this person. Be like, Alex, I wish you would not share your vibe. Like, I wish you'd actually go back to being more private. Because I'm so sick and tired of people trying to steal your vibe and then like doing it and like completely fucking it up in the worst way possible. And I 100% agree. Like I, you know, it sounds so petty of me or whatever, but it's not because it's just like, I have put a lot of effort into all these different like things that I do and I share. It's like, and then people like just go like, um, just like that, that's this and that's and like, wasn't e it was easy. Like everyone just thinks everything is easy after they see it. You know what I mean? It's like, no bitch. Like you would never have even thought of this idea if it wouldn't have been for me, you know what I mean? All of a sudden it's, oh, it's easy. Oh, she just bought that and then bought that. 
like the couch is like that and like the table like that it's like so easy oh the rug like that just put like that like no actually no yeah like I might have just like purchased that but it didn't mean that like I didn't like it came from my fucking brain bitch like there's it's um it, this, the internet is so fucked like everyone just assumes that oh it's so easy it's so easy like it's just so infuriating to me and it goes like in every single like aspect of my life everyone thinks everything is just so easy like I could like, legitimately like I could literally write down every single motherfucking supplier I have and give you the name to every single like caster every single like person that I have sewing and designing and you couldn't do anything with it like it doesn't work like that you fucking moron like it doesn't work like that people just think everything is so easy now and it's just like not and so the dm came whoa the dm came yesterday through about my office like the vibe of my office like i wish you actually wouldn't share it too much because like it's like you have such a unique vibe and people are just like can feel like they can run with it and replicate it and it actually comes out looking like fucking shit and it's embarrassing they act like they do it themselves and it's, uh, it's really annoying like it's actually really fucking annoying it's actually it's like infuriating and i i don't mind obviously if everyone like gets inspiration and stuff from people but to like just be like oh it's so easy it's so easy who cares like she just bought it from there like it's it's so fucking infuriating you guys okay i'm gonna back up um i don't know why i showed you the rug because it just came in today also can we talk okay i've also been ordering things mm. i think the post is like fucked because i have like three things waiting for delivery that i bought and it's like been circling like around it like won't be delivered i don't know what the hell is wrong so I was, gonna t I was gonna show you guys a bunch of stuff i've been i've been like it was on this ebay kick like finding the best shit ever uh, i want my shit like i have a i ordered three four things like vibe as fuck you know what i mean i just want it so bad it's been like two weeks it was supposed to be delivered here on friday it's now wednesday like i don't know what to do i, I don't know what to do with posts it's it's i think they are just i've heard because we work with a post too it's just because of covid people are off, are deliberately not coming into work because they're getting paid anyway so everything is just so backed up like the trickle down of this covid by the way i just want to get into some one other thing too is like i'm not saying that like anyone i'm not saying that like anyone should should or should not like it's not my business but like i get it people are out of work like things are like things are fucked right now but for people who are like opting not to work just because they're getting more money like i mean i'm not like i'm not like gonna say you know what I mean I don't know I'm not in your position so don't I'm not like blaming anyone I swear to god but I'm like did you guys understand like us printing this money I swear to god like this time next year like the like we can't recover from this like the, the dollar is gonna be worth like 60 cents I swear like I was just having this like this brain aneurysm yesterday about it like inside my head like oh my god with these people is printing this money like this has to stop like this has to stop like honestly I don't care like when is anyone just gonna like take what take one for the team and just open everything back up and everyone who's sick stays in the motherfucking inside okay if you're fucking obese if you got diabetes if you fucking have anything on underlying conditions stay the fuck home okay stay home because you guys are fucking ruining the economy and you're ruining everyone's life like my life is fine i'm not talking about myself i will never not be okay okay get over it i know you like want me to die you want my business to go under you want like everyone everything to crumble around me you want me to like die of covid i get it like i fucking know you do okay but get over it i'm not okay the actual facts that you don't want to hear is that things need to get back on track. People won't die. Okay. Get over it. And if you think you will, stay the fuck home. Okay. You're not supposed to fucking keep the fucking healthy people inside not working. It is so fucking asinine. I can't even do this anyway. And by the way, I'm going to also re I feel when I, when I do these videos, I just like need to have four hours to talk. I swear. By the way, oh, what was I going to say? <laughs> um, I was going to say, oh, this is such a good point, too. Fuck. It was such a good point. Fuck. I told you guys, like, my, my brain's on overload. Um, fuck, I wish I could, like, remember. That was a good point. Oh yeah, I remember. Ha. <laughs> okay, naked here. Um, I want to know from when in the fuck, from when in the fuck are are people 
like who don't, who just want to like live their life, be left alone, go back to normal. When are we the Karens? Why are the fucking people who are harassing others about not wearing a motherfucking mask? Why are they the Karens? Like you psychos who are like aggressive about other people wearing masks are the Karens because you're interfering in my fucking life, man. Like I didn't approach you. You're approaching me. Do not approach me. Do not speak to me. I do not know you. You will not approach me. I will not have it. You know what I mean? Um, if you're wearing a mask, bitch, you should be fine, right? If you believe the mask bullshit, you should be fine. I mean, right? Like, ugh! Like, you're wearing the mask, right? You think that's stupid paper or your motherfucking mouth is going to work. So then why are you telling me what to do? Also, if you're so scared, Stay the fuck home, man. Leave me the fuck alone. Oh my God. Like, I cannot stand it. By the way, I have like this other thing I'm gonna tell you guys about. I, okay. In order to basically like, I'm blanking some pissed. In order to, in order to like survive downtown, um, like in order to survive, like working downtown for like, eight years, whatever. And where, where I go, like I understand people like work in the financial district, they're fine, whatever. I don't like lit work in the financial district. Like, my suppliers are like in the middle of the worst parts of like downtown, like and out of downtown, stuff like that. So if you don't want to like be harassed, if you don't want like trouble, you have to like, you have to like have a defense mechanism. And like, you have to have like an alter ego. I have like a lot of alter egos, depending on the situation. I told you guys, I'm a fucking chameleon. We've talked about this before. It's the weirdest thing. Like it's so exhausting. Okay. Um, but I do this thing where I like, don't look crazy, but I just walk and I look like you don't, just don't, even, don't, don't approach her. I don't want, I don't look like thuggy or like, like badass or anything. I just, I just get in this like zone in my face where like, if you talk to me, it's like, you're going to like, regret it. You know what I mean? And I do it because, and everyone's like, Shh. I love the, I love when the people tell me that I'm like, I'm, um, I'm not sympathetic or I have no compassion for homeless. Honestly, I want to reach through my screen and I want to like tell you what I actually feel because you have no idea. I am completely compassionate out when it comes, when it comes, when it, re, when it is regarding homeless, because like I told you guys a million times, like these homeless people are not like these poor, sad homeless people who want help and are destitute. They want to be on the streets. They are aggressive. They are so entitled. They don't want help. They just want to sit there and do drugs and like ruin the city. Okay. Like that's what they would do. They're going to take craps all over the city. They want to pull their pants down and take craps. Like that's what they want to do. Like they are not even, I swear to God, like I don't understand how they have turned from like human to non-human because that's how they act and they don't want help. Like, believe me. Okay. Anyway, um, I get into like this dumb, like I, I don't want to be approached by homeless people. I've had tap, like, I just thank God. Like it's never actually happened. I think a lot of us do. Anyway, what I'm going to say is like the next time someone actually even suggests that I wear a mask, I'm just going to look, I also look, I also like have this thing where I might look like I'm crazy or like, like something's wrong with me, like a touch. So I, like, I, I already have it coming before when I got into that fight with the other guy, I've gotten a couple of like, a couple of like verbal matches with people like just literally tell them don't fucking speak to me don't address me i don't know who you are like blah 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 i follow science i have this whole thing i say okay that's out the window we're done with that it's too much i don't want to fucking take time on you i'm just like i'm looking i'm like i'm not breathing like i swear to god i can't wait i can't wait i can't wait i can't wait bitch like i'm like i'm not breathing and they'll just think like i'm so crazy that they will actually believe it or they'll just like leave me alone. You know what I mean? I just like can't wait. Like I'm just like, okay, like who's gonna say it? Who's gonna say it? Who's gonna say it? Like we're gonna say it. I can't wait. I'm, like, I'm not breathing. Like they actually will think that I'm like nuts. I love it. I love to, I love it. I love to come off like, I love to look nuts. I love to like, I just love to trick people and be like, wait, what is, wait, what, what's that just happened? <laughs> it's so fun. I can't wait. Okay. So that's like, um, that's like, that's in my Rolodex, bitch. I'm gonna bring that out. Um, Okay, we talk about the vibe. Okay. Okay, actually, do I have some more time? I have a little bit more time. I just want to say, what I got one more thing. I just like, you guys know, uh, uh, like throughout the week when I have just like random thoughts, I um, I keep them in here because I don't remember things easily. Like, I forget things recently. Um, and so I just like keep notes here of things that I, want, I might want to discuss. Um, I just want to talk about something that really infuriates me, to be honest. And I'm just like too real for the world. Like I really am too real for the world. And like, like legitimately, 
things that I told you, like from the get from the jump are the truth. You know what I mean? Like you're not gonna like see anything. Okay, I have real beefs. I have real beefs with lose I'm, I call them losers because I'm just gonna be real with you. Like I don't care. Um, I really don't like I'm talking about jewelry lines, that's what I do. I don't like jewel I don't like lines at all, jewelry lines, whatever, that I feel like the only reason they they became anything or they were so as big as they are is because they have like been able to send their things to like celebrities and then they're like they they post pictures of like the celebrities wearing their thing like oh so and so wearing this 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 like whatever it is and acting like bitch they bought it like bitch no they didn't buy it okay you fucking sent it to them and they're fucking wearing it because it was free okay. I mean, it's like, it, it, I know that I'll come off jealous like that, but I'm really not jealous because I have a lot of like, this is the thing with me. I hate being pushy. I can't stand being pushy. Uh, you guys know with like pushy salespeople at like, at, at like designer stores, it is so cringy to me. I can't stand it. Like, do not come up and tell me what you think about a bag that looks, because I hate that bag. Like, don't tell me it's cute. Don't, don't tell me, don't tell, just, just shut, shut your fucking mouth. Like, I will have so much more respect for you if you come up and actually say that bag is ugly then tell me it's cute when I know it's not cute. Like, cause I, you just like try to play me and you, it's, a, it's a fucking turn off, okay? Like, it's literally like, like I was I, like, ooh, you just turn me off. Like I can't, you know? So like I have a lot of people who I could, like, like major big bloggers, like who like could, I could send them things all the time. And, and, and just like, hey, like, oh, hey, hey. Like, like I've been on YouTube for how long? I know a lot of people, but I don't, like to do it unless I have actually met them and they're like nice and cool and I genuinely think that they but I rarely do it actually I'm only gonna take this back because recently because I met someone downtown I, I met whatever I knew her friend and whatever I reached out I was like hey I was thinking because I saw that she really loves earrings like I, I really don't like doing this because I don't want people to feel obligated it's so like cringy like I have to just give myself out for stuff for free like it doesn't it doesn't have like doesn't it is not supported by its own merit. Merit's a whole other thing. Um, you know what I mean? Like I don't want, I don't want like a free pass. I don't want like, a, I don't want freebie. Like I want people to actually like, I don't know, maybe it's stupid of me. Maybe it's just like marketing, everyone does it. I get it. But like, I've never done that when I could do it. And a lot of the times when I, re when some, when I realize that someone has ordered, then I'll be like, oh my gosh, like you really like my line. I would love to like, I'll send you something else, this and that. But I don't constantly send things out ever, 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 ever. It's just, it is so fake, it's so annoying. And I saw this whole thing started, this this like thing I wrote down because I saw this morning, I was like, oh, like this person like posted all these, like this company posted like all these celebrities wearing like her line. And like, I know for a fact that those were people were invited into your showroom. Like I saw that you were like had them in your showroom when they were here. Like bitch, you're so fucking embarrassing. Like, like you'd have, that is so try hard. It is so cringe. Like you're, I get it. Like you're a big company, is what. It's, but it is. It's such a turn off for me. It makes you look like you like need these people to push it for you because it's not that great anyway. And I don't know. I just think it's so fake and phony. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'm stupid for not do, pushing it, for not doing that, for not reaching out to bloggers, like whatever. Like I have done this whole thing on me. Like not that it's amazing. Not that like it's like a, the best company in the world. But I like bought my house myself you know what I mean like I live a really great like lifestyle like, m by myself like I have n I don't get one cent of money from anyone you know what I mean like this is me and I didn't send out jewelry you know what I mean like I just work my ass off and everyone and people like it and I still get that that's real like what can we not find one other like, please tell me like, I know there's other companies who are real like can we not find one other person here who's like real and can just like stand on their own two feet and do it by themselves without having like getting a fucking hand out everywhere. Like, I'm, I don't know. I don't like it. And the more and more I see this, it's like, I don't know. I'm sure I, I'm just saying that this morning I saw something that turned me off and a lot of people have like partners and like, not even partners, like husbands, you know what I mean? Like that, like whatever, like that, like, you know, they have like investment together and stuff like that. And it's like, I, that's not me. Like, I, for instance, day one, I started this in my, I'm, I'm like tooting my own horn, right? I guess I am. I don't like to do that either. I hate to like toot my own horn. I hate to like, I'm not trying to do that. Like you guys know, every, all my stuff, like I'm getting embarrassed. Like all my stuff like rolls into like what, what I want to talk about. But anyway, I saw this morning. I was like, I was like, oh my God, bitch. Like actually she took the earrings off afterwards and never put them on again. And she put that one picture up 
because you invited her in and that was it so let's just like stop right now before you're ahead like before you're ahead stop while you're ahead I mean I don't know it's like it's I don't like it I don't like it I'm not gonna like I don't want to like reach out to people I told you so recently I did I reached out to my friend Sophie because I'm like honest you guys know that the Canadian girl who I really like and her friend Sarah I forget her name but I met them both in downtown and they were really sweet and like um Sophie has been like one of my followers or whatever for, she's like bigger than I am now but she's like really pretty girls and so I was like they like always wear earrings and stuff so <sighs> see if they want some um and Sophie's mom or something I think she had like ordered from my order my line before I saw that and yeah just like you know what I mean that's like real I'm not like reaching out and can you send you my line like I suck so like, can I send it to you so like I was like I want to I'm gonna like send you guys the ones I love the most so um, anyway, <laughs> I don't know why I'm getting off this subject, off this topic, I mean, but, um, okay, so, just irritated by that, and the whole, nothing about merit is even anything anymore, uh, it's so sickening, I don't want to talk about it, because everyone's gonna, like, form opinions, like, call me, call me a fucking homophobic, racist, whatever, everything, and everything, and by the way, when you call people racist who aren't racist, like, you know that like makes the word racist so diluted. Like it's so fucking stupid. Um, what? sorry, my discussing. I oh, know. All right, let me back up. I do have a little bit more time. I have like other things on here I can tell you guys about. I'm gonna say one more thing. Okay, I was gonna say one more thing. Um, I've been getting a lot of questions about. What do you guys think about this? Yes or no? I wish I could do like a little post, like a little t like a tab. Like, what do you think? So I'm getting a lot of questions from like you guys out there. Like, oh, like I have to wear the mask for work. I have to like wear the mask, whatever. Here now, can you make me a mask chain? And I don't like to do things that I don't like to do. You guys know that. Like, I really don't. But at the same time, it gets really boring making hundreds of the same item all the time. You know what I mean? Like, so when someone asks to do a custom piece, I'm like, oh yeah, I'll be fine. Here, start doing really quick for you. So, um, anyway, the mask thing, I've been doing mask chains for customers who email in, they're like, oh, excuse me, yeah, sure. Um, plus I love you guys. Like I would, I'm so flattered that you would choose me to do that when there's other companies who I know are like selling, like they're like marketing, not that I care, it's capitalism, fine. Um, they're like capitalizing off of it, which is smart, but I just don't like to do things that are like contrived. Like you guys know, I don't like the mask situation. I think it's like really phony. I think it's bullshit. Like I don't think it does anything. And, okay, um, seriously, that's what you guys do. I knew it right there. <gasps> okay, so um, I just didn't, like, how phony would that be if I, like, did a mask? I don't want to do a mask chain thing, but I'm thinking, like, a lot of you guys ask it. I'm getting a lot of questions from you guys asking to make them. So what I, should I do it, mask chain options, and then make them? I was thinking about doing mask chain option so that you could also, like, when this whole stupid thing is over, you could use them as a necklace in the end too, or like put charms on them or something like that. Um, but call them like something that just be like, ugh, like stupid, like stupid mask chain, just something like that. Like, like where I'm doing them because like we have to wear them. It's like fucking stupid. So at least I can like get my like little like shiv in there. Like no bitch. Like, well, we're doing it fine. Like we have to. Like I will do it, but like it's stupid. So I don't know. I might do it. I might not do it. Um, I might just keep it like on like a like like a custom basis you guys it just goes against what i like and you guys know like i about my line like i do whatever i like in my line like i have to love it you know what i mean i have to like be obsessed with it um so yeah okay i don't know we're just like chilling here i don't say um i really do want a coffee but i'm not gonna go out and get another coffee because i just spent money on that i think there should be like a return a return like like veg I don't know. I'm gonna call him right now and be like, "You fucked it up again." I like drove away. You can make it so awkward for me. I can't tell you that it doesn't taste right because you're gonna like ruin my day. Like you're going to like be like, give me attitude. I would get it. Like I get it. I don't want to be told that I made something wrong. Like I understand. Um, I don't know. My version goes out. Sorry, it's really good. Okay, sorry. All right, I'm gonna back up now. There's so many things I could go over with you. There's so many things that like I could talk about, but um, I think we are gonna just gonna do the vibe thing. Okay, here's the vibe. So I actually let me show you. I brought let me move my food. 
away from the clothes. Okay, so um, we love, stop, okay. we love, I love looks. I love, I don't buy anything typically for the most part unless I can wear it in my life every day. I have a very casual life. I spend the majority of my time at work and I want to also, but like, I don't want to, I want to look cute at work, but I want to be comfortable. I have a ca casual lifestyle, like the restaurants I go to, they're casual, but they're cute. Like I want to be able to wear whatever the fuck I want. I would not wear these shorts to restaurants. All right. So let me show you guys a new vibe. These shirts I'm wearing from Brandy Melville. They will not be, I will not tell you guys that again because everyone's going to ask. <laughs> I'm kidding. And um, the shorts are athletic shorts. The blazers are very specific blazers. Okay, I have two blazers that I love. This was from Zara, and the point of the blazers, they have to be the cool touch blazer. Like, there's not a lot of structure to this. You know what I mean? Like, it's a like a like it feels like a cool touch. Like this black one I'm wearing from Aritzia, which is like the best. It's Babaton size large. It's from a while ago. They don't have it anymore. I don't think. I love it. It doesn't have a structure. This has some shoulder pad in it but it's also not too structured, okay? You can't wear like a suit blazer, you know what I mean? It has to be like an effortless, like a very loose boyfriend style blazer. Okay, and the shorts are also, let me show you all the shorts. So these are from, um, PacSun, okay? These that I'm wearing, I have two pairs and then I got another one. These are from Brandy. And then all the rest are also from Brandy. They're like the ones with the stripes, okay? So that is the vibe, let me show you guys two different versions. Maybe I'll show you one, one version. I don't know. I don't want to like, you guys know, like this is a new vibe. I know that we were like vibe checking and a lot of you guys are like, is this a new vibe? Yes, a new vibe. It's also cute with um, skinny, legend, skinny legend shorts. Skinny legend shorts and the boyfriend blazer with the black top or like a little cropped white top. So cute. Um, but today I'm talking about athletic shorts. And also when my, on my drive home just now, I saw an old man running and he was wearing um, like, the coolest running, actually, I thought I was gonna like, see, this is so gross, but they were so loose in front. I like, legitimately thought I was gonna see his like, his testicles. <laughs> like, I swear to God, I was like, I was like looking at the old man because I wanted his shorts, but then I was like, you know what I mean? Like, I just thought with one more leg, leg up forward, I thought I was gonna like, see his testicles. Like, oh <laughs> Disgusting. Like, I hate that word. Okay. Um, <laughs> but. I want to get those shorts. So I will be going on eBay right after this tonight. And I'm going to find those shorts because it's a vibe. Like that, he's so, that was so cute. I want to like, ugh, like I want those shorts. You can tell they're old. He probably had them since like the 80s. You know what I mean? Like this old man like running. Okay, let me back up and show you guys what the vibe is. The vibe is, I don't know what the vibe is. It's just, it works. For some reason it works. It's sick. Um, I don't know what this vibe is. I actually don't have an info. I usually I have like what is like, kind of the vibe, like what are we feeling, but I don't really have like that information for you at this point. Um, and I, you can go see on my Instagram, I've been wearing this a lot lately. I've been wearing, throwing a blazer over all of these athletic outfits and it's just like so cute. I love it. Okay, so here's the look and I get it. The top, the crop top's not for everyone, which would be fine. You can do that. It's very cute still. I think the crop top is better because it's very like, I, it's like, I feel very 90s, like I went to like the athletic club, um, but it's like like a weird thing, and it, but it kind of works, um, and I just think it's so cute. So what she's been wearing with this, I wore, you guys can see on my Instagram, I wore the Fendi, I have not been wearing slides with these, like I think these deserve like a very old school looking tennis shoe, like I've been wearing those, those Adidas tennis shoes, which I got um, when Barney's was closing. If you remember, I bought the, I got them in the men's section. They were really, really inexpensive. I love them. It was like a really good purchase. So those or like the Fendi sneakers, any kind of like an old school style sneaker. But it has to be an old school style. It has to be like a running sneaker. Like, like what's a New Balance or not Nike. Nike's too like, you're actually going to go to run. You can't wear Nike. Like Adidas, Puff, something, something like that. You know what I mean? Like an actual athletic. And so there's what it looks like. Okay, so there's that. I don't really want to show you guys. I don't really want to get undressed. Oh yeah, let me show you this. Let me show you the, the um this that I bought. So I bought this one today. Just change. Um, 
from Zara. So I went to Zara this morning because I thought I was, I'm sick of that. I've been wearing it so much. So I found this, but I don't think it's a vibe. I think it's too nice. Tell me what you think. This is a size large. The medium was like fit perfectly and this one fit a little bit loose. So you can make your own judgment, but this is a little bit too nice, right? Like it doesn't actually work. But then I'm thinking, would it work if I did white shorts and it might look all white? Let me check the button. No, it's too cream and white. Okay, so would it work if I use this little, the little mint ones, which I wore the mint ones you guys saw the other day from Sun. Let me just see if it would be possible. I mean, it's okay, it's a little bit too formal. It's not exactly right, I think I might return it. It's a little bit too formal. What do you think? I mean, it's cute, looks good on, but tell me, like, do I need it? Is it, I think it's wrong, right? Which I love, Maritzia. It's really big, like super oversized. And this one is cute. If I had black, oh yeah, I have the black shorts too. I have um, like dark gray, like just like this from, from Brandy, dark gray with black trim. And that is so cute with this. It's just, I don't, what is the vibe you guys? Like, why does this work? I really don't have any words for why this works. Like this, I don't know why, but this is actually now, imagine these are black um, or this in this black, no, white's cute. Um, I don't know, like, why does this work? It works, but it fucking works. I don't know, okay. So that's it. Um, I like myself in black more. What do you think? I feel like that nude color like washes me out. Okay, so maybe I'll just leave you with a thought. Um, like, no, I don't want to do that. That's just, I don't care enough to talk about it. Let me see what else I have to talk about. I have like two other things I can talk about, but they're kind of like long stories. I don't know. I really am just disappointed about the coffee. I really want a coffee. I just, everything is just like not fun anymore. I, I like, I don't like to go out and like, see like the nonsense you know what I mean I don't like want I don't want the, all, the confrontation from people but at the same time I like don't like having to like conform to something that I don't personally think is like correct you know what I mean so I just like have not been going out a lot nothing's like open properly everyone acts acts like the motherfucking Gestapo and they like they have like these power trips too like it's weird I mean if I worked anywhere I I wouldn't act the way they act. I would just do it like softer way. Everyone just like, can't wait. Like right away, like right up. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Bitch, you're really, you're like, your position is not that important. Back the fuck up. Like don't fucking come at me like that. Okay, I'm literally like I said, I'm gonna fucking swing on you. Like don't, just calm down, bitch. Calm down. I don't, I don't want to be here in the first place. You know what I mean? Stop. Like, I can't stand like the brown nosy, like, like teacher's pet fucking Karen bitches running up on you. Like, calm the fuck down, man. Like, I don't want, like, stop. Like, I already don't want to be here in the first place. You've already ruined my day. Like getting, like just getting the vibe of someone who is trying to like, like tell me if and or when or but, like, bitch, no. Go away, like cop. And I heard recently that like Lowe's, the home, the this home store, is not going to be like demanding people to wear masks, which I like. I really fucking appreciate because I think it should be up to everyone's choice. Because if you're wearing a mask for yourself, that should protect you, right? What? Why are you telling me what to do? You're wearing a mask, bitch. If you're wearing a mask. Why does it matter if I do, bitch? If the mask is supposed to protect you? Shut up, Karen. Fucking idiot. Like. The audacity of people to say that I'm my own business. Like, leave me the fuck alone. Don't fucking start with me. Like, you're fucking Karen, not me. Um, 
it I it's just like and it really infuriates me like like the, it's twisted here like I'm sorry the whole world is like it's like like clown world right now like it literally is fucking clown world um I don't know bitch I could like sit in here all day long and talk to you but like I swear to god okay one more thing I could, I could sit in here all day long with you um let's see if you do you guys actually watch the end of these I don't know um but <laughs> Um, okay, so we went to dinner on Friday, on Saturday night, and it was just, like, one of those, those restaurants that we, like, like, and, like, we didn't want them to go under, so they're trying to support whatever, and they're, like, open. I am not kidding you, bitch. Oh, my God, this fucking dumbass. So, it's, like, casual. It's not, like, bougie, and everything's only outdoor seating now. So, I mean, I love sitting outdoors, but not when you make me sit outdoors, like... <laughs> Bitch, I will sit indoors now. <laughs> okay, so I'm not kidding you. They were sitting at their fucking table. At their table. This husband and wife or like whatever they were. With their mask on. I'm not kidding. And I, we were like, we had to wait for our table to like be cleaned or whatever. They were like taking a sip of their drink and then putting their mask back on afterwards. Like, I'm not kidding. I wanted, like, I literally, like, if it was my, like, I don't know. If I was like a touch crazier, if I was a touch crazier, bitch, I would have like, just like, then like, really, like really, you know what I mean? Like, oh, like you're that crazy, right? So, I mean, they're already spaced, everyone's already spaced out, right? They're already outside. Like now you're gonna like, <laughs> I think you're so well behaved. Like, good job, good job. You're so well behaved, look at you. Hiding away like a little like gray mouse that you are. Okay, I gotta go. I really gotta go. I gotta go because I can't do this. I'm really riled up right now. I, I, can't. I really want, I think I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go, I'm gonna go and get another, another coffee. I'm gonna go buy another coffee. I'm just gonna eat it. Like, I'll, I'm gonna eat it. I couldn't tell him today. I couldn't tell him. He was like, this guy is like little guy and he's just like, he wasn't like, what? I don't know why. He didn't look like the kind of would fuck it up, but he fucked it up. I'm just gonna buy another one. All right. Okay, guys, I <laughs> love you. I wish I could be on here for hours because I have so much to talk about. Okay, bye.